What's going on guys, it's your boy Jenna and today we have Ayashimon chapter 4. In the last chapter, we beat up the guy that he's like the human torch. So let's see what crazy things uh, Mauro does in this chapter, shall we guys? Well first we learned that the physical body of Ayashimon monster is actually made of money. So that's crazy just, just to think about. But also that, but they're uh, even, th you, even though that you destroy their bodies, their spirit will still remain and it'll take them 99 years just to like manifest a new body so that is just crazy things to think about and why is it that their body turns into money is the one question i have i'm sure they might or might not explain it later in the future but we'll see then we meet a new character called ten which is an easy name thank god because you know i'm you know we have the like card names like maruo and Ura. Now her name is actually like Ura Ura or something, but I'm gonna call it Ura. And there's like a hard name like Ayashimon, which is hard to say as well. So yeah, thank goodness for like this name for Tim. And he's actually the one we saved from the Human Torch character from the last chapter. And he is actually gonna help us find a new office. So we need this new office to like build this mafia gang, so we can like build this whole mafia empire that that Ura wants to do. And what this off it has is a bunch of hooligans a bunch of like mafia members as well and they're a bunch of scammers so no one likes scammers so we don't really care about them and eventually as soon as we get to the office Tan asks Maro to beat these guys up because these guys treat like him like a slave basically and uh, and then as soon as the boss came he just starts getting scared he, he he was calling like Maro like he was here here's some new suckers for you, so like how fast he like turned the the tables was really fast so and then the the boss he was like beating him up beating up a uh, ten like and Maro and Ura were just standing there just doing nothing so Ura decided to have the bright idea yeah I like this office I'm gonna take it and she asked for a ritual duel then Ura like takes off her coat and then she shows off her like beautiful flowers now i don't know if this is like tattoos because it's kind of hard to see like in a manga but nonetheless she looks like freaking badass with these uh, flower tattoos on her chest and basically she says that if you beat maro in a battle you get to do whatever you want with it so and these guys are not like like good guys so i'm sure they have like evil things that they will do to her and if they lose then Maru and the gang will have their office. So that's what the ritual battle is gonna be. And the battle begins. Ding! So they fire it off and and then Maru gets bonk in the head real fast and he starts bleeding from his forehead and he just starts smiling weirdly. Then they just keep fighting and fighting. And then we got Ten who he doesn't know who to cheer on. He doesn't know if he wants to cheer for his boss who treats him like a slave or Maru who wants to help him beat up the boss who treats him like a slave so then he finally decides that he's gonna cheer on for Maru <laughs> then Maru gets all pumped up and then he's punch he punches the boss's head and that's when the chapter ends guys and yeah really enjoyed this episode yet again I would say the character 10 he kind of reminds me a lot of like Usopp and Cowage the Cowardly Dog as well I would say He's like a very scared person and he really he has a hard time like defending himself so I don't know if this character is gonna stay with this hopefully he does and hopefully he gets like more braver and he does like more things that will help him become more braver and yeah guys what are your thoughts in this chapter in manga you think this is gonna be one that stays here for a while and what's going to happen to it, you know? Like, what are your predictions on it, is what I mean. Because I have no idea where this show is going to go. I mean, it could go anywhere. It's, like, kind of unpredictable and predictable. I would say the only predictable thing is, like, Marvel's just going to use his fists each time he fights. So, that's the only predictable thing. But, story-wise, who knows? But be sure to like and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you next one. Peace.